The Federal Open Market Committee, known as the FOMC, is the group within the Fed that sets monetary policy. The seven members of the Board of Governors and all 12 Reserve Bank presidents, including those who aren't voting members, attend FOMC meetings. Though they all participate in the discussions of the economy and policy options, only the seven members of the Board of Governors and five of the 12 Reserve Bank presidents are voting members at any one time. One of the five voting presidents is always the president of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. The other Federal Reserve Bank presidents vote on the FOMC on a rotating basis. The FOMC meets in Washington at least eight times a year, with more meetings when they're needed. Everyone participates in discussions, including the non-voting Reserve Bank presidents. They carefully review economic and financial conditions in all districts of the country. Then, the FOMC votes to decide the stance of monetary policy. The Federal Open Market Committee is a group that has been charged with um, making decisions about the stance of policy and it consists of the governors who serve on the Board of Governors and the 12 presidents of the Federal Reserve Banks. And of those 12, all attend, but um, five vote at any particular time. And uh, the presidents in particular collect um, a great deal of information about business conditions and labor market conditions, um, economic conditions, financial conditions in their districts. When we meet, we go around the table and each person describes their perspective on the economy. You basically bring your information from your, your district and also your views on the national economy to a discussion at the meeting. And it's a very um, interactive in terms of being able to share views, diverse views about what we're seeing out in the economy. And we work towards a consensus on policy. So it's a very healthy discussion where we talk about economic conditions, financial market conditions, the outlook for the economy, where the economy we think it's headed, the risk around that outlook other developments, for example, in the global or international markets that could affect the U.S. economy. And then after debating those and talking about those, we, we, we work towards a consensus of setting monetary policy. That may involve changing the target for the federal funds rate, which is the interest rate banks charge each other for overnight loans. Or it may take other measures to achieve its monetary policy goals. Our decisions on monetary policy are based on a wealth of data and information. In addition to data on the national economy that is produced by the statistical agencies, um, we have a wealth of information that comes from our business contacts around the country about local conditions, about their perspectives on what's driving uh, economic developments, um, anecdotal information we publish in a regular publication called the Beige Book, and all of that information, a wealth of information, along with computer models of the economy our economists have developed that help us project uh, future conditions, all of that goes into making monetary policy.